Hello YouTube, Raul here. Today we're continuing the Tailwind CSS tutorial series by looking at background colors, background gradients, and also background images. Here we have the same files as before, I just created a new HTML file called backgrounds.html, added the Tailwind stylesheet as before, and created three devs with some text inside of them. You will find all of the code for this video and also the previous videos in the github repository linked below also you will find the playlist with the previous videos linked below and in the card at the top right corner so make sure to check those out before this video so you know what we're doing right here let's get started first thing we're going to look at is background colors because those are the easiest so you remember in the previous video where we talked about text colors now the colors for the background are the same ones the only thing that's different is the name of the tag or the beginning of the name of the tag so for example here we have this text red 500 so if you want to add a background color to this we would do bg let's do also red but this time let's do a lighter color so let's do 100 now if i save you will see the div at the top received a light red background color. This works the same way as with the other colors. So you can do red, you can do yellow. If you want it, you can do green and they all work the same way. The lightness of the color can be changed between 50 and then 100 and incrementing by 100 up to 900. So this is the darkest one, green 900. And this is about it for the background colors. I will not go to all the colors again. You can check those out in the typography video that will be linked in the description below. Now let's go further to background gradients. For this, we're gonna have to add a few class names. One won't be enough. So let's start with BG gradient two. And now we have to give it the direction to which we want to have the gradient so for example we can do t for top r for right l for left and b for bottom and we can also combine them so we can do tr for example so the direction will be top right now if i save you will see nothing changed here with the second div because we have to give it the colors for the gradient for that we will have to add a from color so from let's do purple 500 and we also have to add a to color purple 900 for example and now if i save you can see we have a gradient from a light purple to a dark purple let me change the purple to green so it you can see it better and now we have the gradient if you want to add intermediary colors you can add a via class so let's do via red 300 and now we have a red 300 color in the middle and you can add more vias if you want so we can do yellow yellow 900 and we have another color and you can add here as many colors as you want and they will be added to the gradient and if we want to change the direction let's do bottom right for example and the direction will change we can also do just simple bottom and this is the way you add gradients by using tailwind css Next, we'll add background images using Tailwind CSS. For that, we're going to need the Tailwind CSS configuration file, which we're going to create by using another mpx command. I'm going to copy it and you will also find it in the documentation. So it is npx tailwind css cli at latest init. And running this will create a Tailwind CSS config file. Now, if we open this config file, it contains just an export and some variables that we can configure. We'll look at all the different configurations in Tailwind CSS in a later video. For this, we're just gonna add our background images. I have a, a background image here with a dog that I got from unsplash.com. So we will add this image. To do that, we will go into theme, then extend, and inside of this object, we're gonna add the background image key this will be a functional form and we will get the theme and return an object inside of this object we can put the path to our new image so let's give it a key let's do dog dash img and to this we're gonna add as a string url and between parentheses we're gonna add with single quotes the path to our image now for me it is just the same folder that i am in dog.jpg and now we save and we have to 
rebuild our Tailwind CSS style sheet. So for that, I'm just gonna go back in my terminal and run the build command. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check the first video in this video series out to know what we are doing right here. I'm gonna run this and after it finishes, now that this finished building, we can go back into our backgrounds HTML file and let's go to the third div. And to this, we are gonna add the BG dash and now you will add the key that you added right here. So BG dash and whatever you put as a key to this URL for your dog image. So BG dog dash IMG. And if I save now, we don't see the whole image. We just see the top of it, but it is set as a background. Do let's extend the padding so we can see more of it. So let's do P96. And now we can see the dog image or more of the dog image. If I zoom out, we can see it is repeating. It works just the normal behavior of images as backgrounds in CSS. Now, next thing for background images, we can set the background size so we can do BG cover and it will cover our div. So it will be the max width of the div. Next, we can do instead of cover, we can do contain and it will be the same as CSS background size contain. And we can also do BG auto to have the auto size for that image. Next, we can specify if the images should or should not be repeated. So I'm going to remove this BG auto and let's just add BG no repeat. And now we just have one image. Doesn't matter that our div is the full width of the screen. We can also add BG repeat. So if in at some moments you don't want to have the repeat, but then later want to add it back again, you have BG repeat. Also, you can add the repeat only for the Y axis by doing BG repeat dash Y or BG repeat X for adding repeat on the X axis. Now I'm going to leave it to BG no repeat because I want to show you how you can position the image inside your parent div. For that, we're gonna need a few more lines of text here. So I'm gonna create a paragraph instead of that. And let's just do lorem a thousand. And if I hit enter, we will get an emet abbreviation in VS code, which generates a thousand words of lorem ipsum. Now, if I save, you can see we get a lot more text here. Now we can specify the position for our image. We can do BG top, for example, and our position will be positioned center at the top of the screen. Now we also have B, uh, BG right, for example, to add it on the right side of the screen and it will be centered on the vertical axis. And also we can do right top, for example, and it will add it at the top right corner. Also, we can do left top and then maybe bottom and our image changes position. And the last thing I want to show you, so for that I'm going to remove this, I'm going to put the image back at the top and we can do BG fixed. And now if I scroll, the image will always be fixed at the top. So this is the equivalent of adding the CSS class background attachment fixed. And it can also be BG local and BG scroll. Okay. This was it for the background tutorial on Tailwind CSS. Don't forget to check out the previous videos in the series and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the future videos in the series and many other things to come. The next video is gonna be about borders in Tailwind CSS, so don't miss that. Also, make sure to like this video as it will help me out a lot. And if you have any comments, I'd love to hear about them below. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.